back with a new video and today I'll be giving you the ultimate guide to perfect bangs. So if you have been following me for a while now, I have bangs for a really long time already. I would say that throughout the years, my bangs have definitely transformed from the thick huh? old bangs back then to the new trendy wow. see-through bangs. And as much as I have bangs for such a long time, I would definitely say that bangs are high maintenance although I am used to it and although I have it for like a million years now. <laughs> but since I have bangs for such a long time, I definitely learned a lot of tips and tricks to tame them. So here are some of my tips and tricks that I would like to share with all of you. Okay, honestly, I'm not a guru when it comes to hair. I really suck when it comes to doing my hair. But I figured maybe it's time for me to share some of my tips and tricks because some of you face a lot of bangs problem. And I also know that during this period, a lot of girls decided to do some impulsive haircut in the middle of the night and you are now living with bangs. Alright, so let's start with the first thing. This is how I trim my bangs. I would definitely recommend all of you to get your hair done at the salon. <laughs> and if you never have bangs before and you are really looking forward to having bangs, I would suggest you to go to a salon to get it professionally done first so that the shape is there and the next time round when you want to trim your hair, it's a lot easier. So usually I get my hair done at the salon and I do my hair at Musubi Salon, my style this is called Takuya. Most of the time, he helped me trim my bangs as well. But then, on certain times, I am too busy to go down. I will actually trim my bangs myself. So this is usually how I trim my bangs. I just kind of like comb them together. So you gotta like gather them together all in the center. And then you just gotta sweep out slightly. So after you spread a little bit, right, I'll just go ahead and trim my bangs as per normal. So always remember to do this fancy cut motion horizontally because it's gonna help make your cut less blunt. So I always try not to cut my bangs too short because I will definitely curl them up later and I will regret if I cut too short. After curling them up, I'm gonna look like a joke. Whenever you're trimming, always remember to trim a little bit by a little bit so that you'll know when to stop. Okay, so the next thing that I'll be sharing with you is how I style my bangs. Okay, so this is my unstyled bangs. I just cut it from the scene just now. If you don't really want to have a lot of holes here and you want them to be tamed, this is what I usually do. So before I head out, I will spray some water here. Don't need to use this, this is just for convenience sake but you can always like just put a bit of water and then scrunch it here. It depends where your parting is at so for example if you have a side parting right you'll want to scrunch that area even more. I know I'm just not a really professional person when it comes to doing this but this works for me. <laughs> And then next, you'll need your comb. So you just need to comb it downwards. And then using a hair dryer, I'll be using low to medium heat. And then always go for the lowest strength. Okay, so this is how your bangs look like after blowing. Usually for see-through bangs, right, after you comb this way, it's gonna be like a mess. The whole point is for you to sweep it to the side a little. To form this like see-through shit going on. <laughs> Yeah, just keep lightly brushing it out. Okay, so next I'll be using this hair roller. Very, very, very important thing if you have bangs. This thing, you really need to stock up a lot at home, okay? If my fringe is slightly shorter, I'll be using the smaller barrel. When my fringe is really long, like here, and I'm, like, I'm too lazy to cut it or something, I will use the bigger barrel. So as you can tell, I'm going to be using the smaller barrel. What I like to do is to just brush it out like that first and then curl it up like this. So if you're gonna do your makeup, right, you can just keep it up like that and do your makeup. So afterwards, when you put it down, it will be nicely curled. If not, you can also use your hair dryer to, you know, give it some heat and set it for a while. I will leave it to cool down for a while to set. So some of you have mentioned to me that like this hair color may like cause your fringe to be way too curly. If you're afraid of that, you can always take out the clip and just leave it like this. And always remember one thing, never use curling iron. First of all, the barrel may seem like it's just nice, the perfect size for your bangs. Let me tell you, number one, your forehead is at risk. It's too close to your forehead, you're gonna get burned, okay? Number two, the heat is way too strong for your delicate bangs. Unless you're like a professional at a salon who knows how to deal with this curling iron, don't use it. You're gonna get hurt. Okay, now I'm gonna let it down. Ta-da! It's very curly still. But, but don't worry if it's too curly because it's definitely gonna drop. After a short while, it's gonna drop. 
Okay, so I'm done styling my bangs. This is how I usually style my bangs before heading out. So speaking of the hair roller, this is extremely important and I'm gonna tell you more. So recently on Instagram stories, I asked you girls about your bangs problems and here are the top few problems that you girls face. Okay, so the first problem is, why is my bangs so flat? So as I have mentioned how important these hair rollers are, I always bring them out wherever I go. So whenever I'm free and I feel like my bangs are like flat and touching my forehead, I will always just rip this out in the middle of nowhere, just curl it up like that and clean up. I will always leave it on for a while before I remove it and then it will slowly like it will form this curl. Okay, so the next one, a lot of you have left this main issue. My hair is always greasy. Why? Is my hair so oily? Okay, thankfully right, I don't really have very very greasy scalp so I will only face this problem if I don't wash my hair for two days or more <laughs> and it happens. <laughs> One of the solutions for this or maybe something that will help to deal with this is the hair roller again. I know these are holy grails for bangs. The reason why this will help is because right, like you have mentioned, your bangs can become flat and it will start touching your forehead. So most of us have a lot of forehead oil, you know. Our forehead is always very greasy, very oily. When your hair start to touch your forehead right, the oil definitely will transfer. So if you put on your hair roller more often and keep your hair more curved this way, it will definitely reduce the amount of oil transferred to your hair. Another quick tip that I would like to share with you is to use loose powder. So if you have oily scalp problems, this is where you should powder your scalp. So you just take some of the loose powder and then you just dust it over here and also over here, like at this region. And it helps a lot. I always use this trick when I am having a shoot outdoors or something and I really need to keep my bangs looking fresh. This is the foolproof, quickest way to make your hair look fluffy again. So it kind of works like a dry shampoo since it's like powder. Except that I realize a lot of dry shampoo is always very sticky. So every time when I use dry shampoo around here, right, it looks like it sticks together even more. So I don't really like that. I will always opt for like loose powder instead. Okay, next problem is forehead acne. So some of you mentioned that having bangs will increase the amount of pimple you have on your forehead. And let me tell you, I had this problem when I was very very young. So during my puberty period, my forehead got even more oily. My forehead started growing a lot of pimples because I had bangs down all the time. So how to prevent that from happening is that I will always make sure to pin up my fringe when I'm at home. Since nobody's looking at me, I can always pin my hair out and to air my forehead. Yep, so when I'm out, I will also make sure to keep my forehead like less oily. So if you have any oil blotter or like tissue, can always blow away the oil. So the last issue that I see here is wind. There's honestly nothing you can do with wind blowing on your hair because your hair will definitely fly even when you don't have bangs. I would say that this is inevitable but there are definitely some ways to make it better. If you really don't want your hair to move or budge when the wind blows, the only way that you can do this is to hairspray it like hell, you know? Just spam the hairspray a lot over here. But the way you do your hairspray, you gotta, you gotta make sure that your bangs are like this, poofed up, and then you spray a ton of hairspray. It will somehow or rather help to weigh down your hair a little bit. Another way is to cut your hair in this see-through bangs manner. So when you have it like that, right, and the wind blows, when there is such strong wind blowing, right, there's no way that you cannot stop yourself from looking like shit, okay? The reason why I like these air bangs is because after the wind blows, right, it's gonna just form into this natural looking center parting. It's not as nice as like the bangs I had previously, but it's definitely not as bad because your hair is cut this way anyway. So when the wind blows, it just forms into this shape and it's also easy for you to put it back to shape just have to do this all right so that's it for today's video i hope you like it and i hope you learn a thing or two i know bangs are super high maintenance but i feel like it's worth it because i need to have bangs so if you have any other videos that you would like to watch from me please let me know at the comment section below i hope all of you are staying safe and staying home please keep yourself safe and i hope to see you all really really soon.